guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd do a tradition video again and it's basically it was my birthday the other day, the other day, the other week. Oh my god, I've been I've been 29 for a week and a bit now. That's crazy. So basically my birthday is on the 20th of January and yeah, I always do these videos um ever since Archer's Adventures uploaded theirs. And I've always kind of done this as a little tradition as well. And yeah, so make sure you check out their channel. I'll leave their links, link again down in the comment section below. And just again, thank you so much for this idea. And I absolutely love it. And I'll be doing it continually every year again. So yeah, thank you so much. So it was my birthday the other day. So I am officially 29. I know I look about 12 still, but we're just going to have to go with it. Um, I'm can still cancelling the last few years out because of lockdowns and not being able to do things. So technically I'm still 26. That's how I'm going to roll with this. So yeah. So anyway, as a tradition, I thought I would do the meet at 28 because I was 28 last year. And yeah, I just kind of like doing these so I can look back each year and see kind of like how things went. As like last year, as I rewatched it to get the questions off the video, um, I was actually in lockdown doing this and I'm not. I'm officially in my own flat doing this, loving life, not in a lockdown, in a new job. Like literally so many things can happen in a year. It's absolutely crazy. I think I was actually on furlough as well because we were in lockdown. Oh my goodness, how crazy is that? Anyway, I thought I would do the same video I'd do with me at 28, answer the same questions and yeah, so let's jump into it. So the first question is, Favourite TV show as a 28 year old? Um, I'm not really sure. I've watched a lot of series. I'm gonna have to go with, I can only really remember Stay Close because I normally watch a lot of movies rather than films. And Tracy recommended Stay Close. It's a Netflix series, so technically it's a TV programme. Um, so I'm just gonna have to go with that because it was absolutely amazing. I think I still got one episode to watch. Um, I think it's the last one. But we're gonna go with that because I think it's the only series that I've watched really. I started watching Blood and Water 2, but I didn't I didn't get into it as well as the first one, so yeah, maybe I need to rewatch the first series and then get into the second series. That's normally what I have to do with things. But yeah, and also I did rewatch Pretty Little Liars. I'm still rewatching it because it is a massive thing. I'm quite near the end of it now actually. But yeah, so I'd have to go with Stay Close and Pretty Little Liars. Number two is favourite film as a 28-year-old. Quite like the new Cinderella movie there. Yeah, I'll go with the new Cinderella movie. It was really, really fun to watch and it's a, such a good film. And I definitely would recommend it if you've not watched it already. So we'll go with the Cinderella movie, the new one. Number three is favourite song as a 28-year-old. As always, Talk's my number number one from Kovic. So... Obviously that's going to be up there, but a new song that I absolutely love is Scared by Chasing Deer. And if you haven't heard it, you need to check it out. It's absolutely amazing. And I just absolutely love that song. I think we can relate to it so much. And yeah, it's just one of my favourite songs at the moment. So we'll go with Talk, as always, because that's always going to be an answer of mine. And um, Scared by Chasing Deer. Number four is What Am I Doing For My Birthday? And like I said, my birthday's been and gone. I didn't really do much because I actually thought we were gonna go back into a lockdown. So I didn't plan anything. Um, but the day before, I did go out for a meal with my friends from my old job at Dorothy Perkins. And then on my actual birthday, I literally just chilled the whole day until my sister finished work. And then she came around, chilled with us. She bought me a takeaway, so thank you, Trace. And then I went dancing. That was my birthday complete. <laughs> Honestly, it's so different because I didn't do anything last year. Like, I don't know. But yeah, two of my best friends are still saying we've got to meet up and celebrate it. But we didn't even celebrate their birthdays. So that's probably not going to happen. But yeah, so that is what I did for my birthday, guys. <laughs> the next question is what I wish I was doing for my birthday. And this is going to be every sing the same answer every single year until it actually happens. It's the same answer as last year's as well. I wish I was in Disneyland Paris for my birthday or Disney World Florida. Honestly, that'd be the dream. That would be the absolute dream for my birthday. It's going to happen one day. Like I said, positive vibes, positive energy. It's going to happen. I just don't know when. 
But yeah, that's what I wish I was doing for my birthday because Disney is just the best. The next question while my battery is flashing is my favourite past birthdays and still got to go with my 21st birthday party. Even though I don't like the fuss, I just love the vibe of a party. So we're going to go with my 21st birthday party. I just love parties, guys. And the next question is things I've done this year that I'm proud of. And I'm proud that I've managed to move out into a flat. Because this time last year for this video, I actually said that I want to move out. And that's the new thing that I wanted to do. Like my hopes and dreams for the next few years. I've managed to do it and I'm so happy with that. Like I love my own space and everything like that and I'm really proud of that. And I've also managed to find myself a new job because I did get made redundant from Dorothy Perkins um, as it was all over the news. So I did manage to get a new job so I'm also proud of that. Next question is things I currently love. And the things that I currently love is my family, my friends, sleep, my car. I love my new job. I love my flat. I love going on being able to go on adventures again. I love being able to do things again. This, the list goes on, guys. Like I said last time, the list goes on. The next question is, what is my current style as a 28-year-old? And I've got to go with Rip Mom jeans, um, a crop top, my Air, Nike Air Force Ones. Yeah, that's probably it. And like a jacket or a hoodie or something like that. But yeah. And the last question is, what are my hopes and, dream, hopes and dreams for the future? And obviously I would love my own house, but obviously I've got a lot of saving to do. And I also want to be able to work for myself, like as full time, even though I love my job now and it's gonna take a load of years to actually get to that place. That's like one of my hopes and dreams that I really, really want to do. Um, and yeah, and I also want to continue being able to go to gigs and concerts and stuff like that. And yeah, so I kind of rushed the end there because my battery is currently flashing at me, but we got there and that is the end of the questions. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do really love doing this little series. I like a yearly thing, so I will be doing it again next year. And like I say, please, please check out Archer's Adventures down below in the comments because without this, like this video wouldn't be possible because they, as far as I'm aware, they are the first ones that made up this series. So thank you so much, Jane Marie and Don Louise. And yeah, make sure you definitely check those guys out. So yes, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment any of your, like your questions. I've got the hiccups. Please comment your answers to these questions in the comments below and hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit my subscribe button if you are new thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week with another video bye